Iman is dying, but we can save Iman with your donation. Please watch until the end and give for the sake of Allah. Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah. Smile to Jannah. <laughs> Netflix is on a roll and not the good kind. Get this. First they announced that they were making a series on Dajjal, the Antichrist. And then they release a Christmas special on Jesus, peace be upon him. Sounds innocent enough, but here they've depicted him as gay. What? And his mother, Mary, as a weed smoker. Disgusting. You are a dirty individual, sickening human being. Maybe they're running out of ideas. It's supposed to be a Brazilian comedy. Well, of course, because anytime you think of a comedy, it's got to be Brazilian, isn't it? <laughs> you know that famous Brazilian comic? Um, uh... <laughs> <laughs> but understandably, Christians are outraged by this to such a degree that I think over one and a half million signatures have been signed on the petition to get it removed and axed from Netflix. As Muslims, we are equally, if not more, outraged by this. Why, I hear you ask? Well, I'm gonna let the legend himself, Ahmad Didat, Rahimahullah, may Allah be pleased with him, explain. That he is one of the mightiest messengers of God, we believe. Jesus. We believe in his miraculous birth, which many modern day Christians, including the bishops of the Anglican Church, they don't believe today, but we believe that Jesus Christ was born without a human father. Miracle of God's creation. We believe. We believe that he was the Messiah, the Messiah, translated Christ. We believe he gave life back to the dead, the Allah by Allah's permission. And he healed those born blind and the lepers by Allah's permission. Can't you see? This is our attitude towards this mighty messenger of God. And this mighty messenger of God, Jesus Christ, his name occurs in this book of mine, our book, the Quran, 500% more time than the name Muhammad. Did you know that? Muhammad is supposed to have written this book. It is alleged that he wrote the book. Amazing. This author himself, he keeps himself out of the book. And he promotes Jesus. Amazing, amazing, amazing book. Mary, the mother of Jesus, is mentioned in the first three books of the New Testament, Matthew, Mark and Luke, 17 times. And in the next 24 books of the New Testament, once. Total, 18. In this Quran of mine, Mary, the mother of Jesus, is mentioned in my book, 32 times, as against 18. There is a chapter, chapter in the Quran, in honor of the name of the mother of Jesus Christ. The name of the chapter is Surah Maryam, meaning chapter Mary. In your Bible, of the Roman Catholic 73 books, Mary is not one of them. In your Protestant Bible, 66 books, Mary is not one of them. You have Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, Peter, Paul, Mary is not one of them. At least it is not there. In my book, is enshrined Surah Maryam with the greatest respect in honor of the name of the mother of Jesus Christ. That took a lot of editing guys. I hope you really appreciated that, yeah? Listen, Netflix, you need to remove the series and also issue an apology, yeah? Just like Walmart did with their silly jumpers. Hey Hijab, do you think they're hiding? Do you think they're hiding? You're hiding boy! You're hiding! <laughs> and you know you can't come out and show your face! Oh. You're hiding! Come down, you're gonna blow them <laughs> Yeah! Whenever the Prophet وسلم, peace be upon him, gets insulted, we're up in arms. Yeah, all over social media we're posting and whatnot. Isa, Jesus, peace be upon him, is also a mighty messenger of Allah. And if we don't believe in him, we can't even call ourselves Muslims. So we need to also express outrage on this as well, yeah? Don't stay silent. I'm gonna put the petition in the description. Make sure you've signed it and make sure you post your outrage to Netflix and these guys. Until next time, 
Assalamu alaikum. I am Fahad Qureshi and I'm chairman of the Islamic network, IslamNet, one of the most influential Islamic organizations in my nation. I was born and raised in a European country called Norway. In search of a better life, my parents migrated to Norway in the 70s. What they didn't realize was that Iman may not be able to survive this journey. The population of Norway is around 5.3 million people with Muslims making up 200,000 of that population. The number of Muslim names is increasing, but the number of Muslims with Iman is decreasing. In other words, Iman is dying in the hearts of our youth today. Islamnet has been for the last 10 years working non-stop and developing key da'wah projects to maintain the Muslim identity for our next generation. So we are making a change. I was a non-Muslim with no purpose in life, but Allah guided me and Islamnet gave me a platform to spread Islam in my country. Islamnet has given me an opportunity not only to learn Islam, but also to give da'wah and invite other children to Islam. I can't express how grateful I am for having Islamnet in my life. Through our projects, we are combating Islamophobia, inviting non-Muslims to Islam, giving tarbiyah to the youth, guiding non-practicing Muslims back to Allah, giving support to reverts, fighting extremism, and empowering the Muslim community to get involved in da'wah. We have been operating from a small office that no longer can cater for our needs. We need to establish a masjid with a da'wah and community center that can host Islamic events and exhibitions, have a youth center and offices where we can have full-time du'at, expanding the da'wah and tarbiyah programs so we can bring up a generation of youth aspiring to make the word of Allah the highest. Fahd, that is absolutely brilliant. We have to do this. Brothers and sisters, donate generously and help us to establish this masjid and da'wah center. And don't forget to make dua and share this video on all your social media platforms so everyone can benefit from this amazing project. We are not going to let Iman die. We are not going to let Iman die.